सी आई टी एन सी आर टी प्रेजेंट द प्रोग्राम मोबाइल बैंकिंग कॉन्टेंट आउटलाइन मोबाइल बैंकिंग इज डूइंग द फाइनेंशियल एंड नॉन फाइनेंशियल ट्रांजेक्शन ऑन अ मोबाइल डिवाइस द मेन एडवांटेज ऑफ मोबाइल बैंकिंग इज टू डू बैंकिंग ट्रांजेक्शन एनी वेयर एंड एट एनी टाइम ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द प्रोग्राम to acquaint students about mobile banking to know about various types of channels of mobile banking dear learners in this e payment awareness series we will discuss about mobile banking are you using mobile yes for what purpose do you use mobile for talk sms games facebook whatsapp etc But mobile can be used for banking transactions also. How can that be done? Now tell me one thing. Have you visited any bank? Yes, many times. And how do banks do their transactions? They do transactions through computer. Absolutely right. So, computer is being used for making transactions and other banking works. Do you know In the previous e-payment awareness series, you have learnt about internet banking through use of computers. Yes, but to carry computer every time by customer to use net banking is not convenient. That was the answer I was looking for. Mobile is convenient to carry and use. So, friends, mobile which has become an essential part of our life. Earlier basic phone was the only mode of communication but now after growth in the mobile sector and easy affordability of smartphones it has become an essential medium for e-commerce transactions Do you know how mobile banking started in India Yes based on guidelines issued by RBI in October 2008 banks were permitted to facilitate funds transfer from one bank account to another bank account both for personal remittances and purchase of goods and services in line with guidelines issued by RBI banks have been offering mobile banking services to their customers through various channels such as SMS USSD channel mobile banking application etc One common thing among all channels is that mobile number must be registered with concerned bank account. So the conclusion is that there are various channels of mobile banking. First of all we will discuss about SMS based channel. SMS is a popular and widely used channel in mobile phones. Most customers are very conversant with the SMS channel. They use the same for various services including the short messaging service. Many popular mobile value added services such as cricket, jokes, horoscopes etc are based on SMS and used widely by customers. Up till now Many banks have offered mobile banking services through the SMS channel. This includes non-financial services such as balance inquiry, mini statement, check book request, transaction alerts etc. and financial services such as funds transfer, mobile or DTH recharge, bill payments etc. How can we use mobile banking through SMS? I will tell you. In order to avail mobile banking services over SMS, customer needs to send the request with the keyword and parameters to SMS short code or long code number. For example, for balance inquiry, customer can send SMS B A L to zero nine two two three seven six 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 six. 
the request is sent to the respective bank server and customer receives the response via SMS. But limitation of SMS banking is customer needs to know the exact syntax of SMS for performing transaction. Absolutely true. The syntax becomes complex when one bank adds more transactions which will end up as different keywords and two when more input parameters are needed to complete the transaction. Under these conditions, it is also difficult to communicate and educate the customer to use the syntax. Another channel of mobile banking is USSD based channel. Unstructured Supplementary Service Data or USSD is a protocol used by GSM cellular telephones to communicate with the telecom service providers' systems. National Payments Corporation of India NPCI, has implemented the common USSD gateway with a single short code asterisk 99 hash to offer the USSD channel of mobile banking for all banks. The main advantage of USSD are A. USSD works on all GSM phones irrespective of make, model or service provider. Thus, all phones including low-end phones are capable of handling this. B. It does not require any application or software to be downloaded to the handset. C. The merchants can also benefit from initiating USSD payment message to receive payments from customer using just customer mobile number and bank on common USSD platform. One more channel of mobile banking is application-based mobile banking. All banks who have received the approval from RBI for mobile banking are offering the application-based mobile banking channel to their customers. Customers can download the mobile banking application and perform variety of services, including the following non-financial transactions such as balance inquiry, mini statement, check book request, financial transactions such as funds transfer, mobile or DTH recharge, bill payments etc. Conclusion So, we learnt about mobile banking and types of channels of mobile banking. Mobile banking is doing the financial and non-financial transactions on a mobile device. The main advantage of mobile banking is to do banking transactions anywhere and at any time. There are three channels of mobile banking as prescribed by RBI. 1. SMS based 2. USSD and 3. Application based with the growth of smartphones, now mobile banking is mostly application-based. With the use of smartphone, banks are merging and developing applications to merge the features of internet banking with mobile banking. Mobile banking. You were just listening to this program. Program coordinator... Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Artists Akash Ahuja and Mamta Malkani Recorded by Mayank Kumar Technical Assistance Shanu Muksim Production Assistant Kusum Lata Guidance Ajit Horu Directed and Produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary This program was brought to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi, India